When rainbows became more than things in the sky, the routine of our clothes being swapped, the openness of her laced bra, the yeast-like pattern of her breasts, the giddiness of my chest, the buoyancy of my feet, the Indian relatives in my head, the verbs, that for all the want of them left me then. So silent and still, I stood behind those cubicle doors and shut it as I heard another one open when she left. Diluted Ribena. I nod, and my Shiva nods too. It comes with me everywhere. I'm the most uncomfortable when it decides to take a sick day, when it is a petulant child pretending to skip school and tucks itself beneath the covers. I yank it out as I uncap the third bottle of blue hair dye medicinal. Bright as possible, I tell everyone. My shower spits up black strands snapped in half. In a crowded school, someone nods, and there they them nods too. And my she they settles in my chest. My throat opening and closing like a forward slash, whispered and willed into a keyboard, tucked into a bio. When I shake someone's hand, my she-they runs in perspiration. It stays hidden, tucked between the armpit and the shirt. I can't say I'm not jealous of those who don't turn into extremely diluted Ribena when someone asks them who they are. If someone nods a she-her back to my she-they, I watch the condensation run down the glass as I add an ice cube, a pint of water, an ocean. I am pale, to say the least. I was once not, to say the most. But my she-they has a habit of sitting only in the seats with the glass panels attached on the tube. It's probably because I lean my head against it, and my hips against the handle, my body a guillotine, a forward slash. I know. We will sit in pizza pilgrims, and we will talk about girls, short skirts, thighs, breasts, ripping the cheesy skin from its pale, crusty body, and our own breasts will shrink to pecks. Moustache hairs will turn whiskers, turn full-grown beard, turn alpha male podcast, microphone wires tying us down, up, swipe, TikTok will show me. I will joke that my For You page knows me better than my boyfriend. A girl in a nightgown with eyes that know. A boy will be shirtless in bed, but you won't find me there. Half of myself will sit across from my bisexual friend. She will tell me most days that her legs are on a loop. And I will tell her, stroking my beard, that the thighs attached to the girl at my gym are anatomically correct and larger than average, which some may consider as a desirable quality and therefore increase the value of that female. No, but women are just so... I know. I will tell her, I know.